How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to be having a look at Array Filter versus Array Find. So I'm going to be going over a couple of use cases for Array Filter primarily, then having a look at Array Find and how we can use that instead in some scenarios. So it's going to be a bit of a uh, recap for experienced JavaScript developers and a bit of knowledge for you guys who are just starting out or um, don't use Filter very often. So right here I've got a list of numbers, 1, 4, 9, 16 and 25. Let's have a look at a basic use case of Array Filter to filter out the even numbers. I might say const even numbers equal to numbers.filter, then say uh, n, then I can say n mod two uh, is equal to zero because of course, if you take the modular operator like this, you say n mod two, any even numbers are going to return zero for that operation. So we're gonna be left with even numbers. I can say console.log even numbers. And of course, we're gonna get only four and 16. Run this script here. We do in fact get four and 16. Now where array filter really shines is gonna be with the list of objects. So right here, I have three objects. Now the top and bottom ones are active. The middle one here is active as false. So let's filter out the inactive users by creating a new array of only the active users. So we're gonna say const active users, okay, equal to users.filter. Now for each user, we're gonna check if they are active. We'll say user like this, user.active is equal to true. Now, of course, you can simplify this to just be user.active. That's also totally fine. Now, of course, if I was to log out this list of active users, we can see here, we do in fact only get the top one, decode me, and of course the bottom one, Alex95. Now, you can also delete items using array filter, and this is done by creating a new array that is uh, omitting your thing to delete. So. Let's say I want to delete the user with the username Alex95. Of course, the bottom one right here. I can say const updated users is equal to users.filter and then say for every user, only keep the user if the user's username does not equal username to delete or in this case, Alex95. I can now say console.log. I'll log out the users array first, then log out the updated users. You'll see here that we of course now in the updated users log, we get Alex95 uh, omitted from that list right there. But the original array, the users array is still intact with its original value. So this here is gonna be really common to see in React components and things like that because we're dealing with state and different instances of the arrays. Okay, we're now gonna have a look at how to find objects, singular objects using array filter. So I've got the same list of users. I want to find the user with the username of decode. Let's say here, const user is equal to users.filter and then provide here, user, and find the user or find the users which have the username of decode user.username is equal to username to find. Okay, now what's happening here? Well, we've got an array of one item because of course there is a single user in the list which has this username. Okay, if I was to console.log what user looks like, we can see here we do indeed get that array of a single object, but of course I want to get the object itself and not the array of one object. So how do I do that? Well, I can simply add square brackets at the end here to say, get me the first item or the one at index zero from the array. I'll save this, run it again. Now, of course, we get the user object right there, which is what we actually wanted in the first place. But there is a better way to do this using array find. It's gonna be really simple. Uh, but first, let's say I want to find the user with the username of decode one. Now, this username here does not exist in the array. So what's gonna happen? Well, run the script again. We simply just get undefined. So this is totally fine to do in your code. But like I said, there's a better way to do it using array find. So let's change this filter to instead be find like this. I can now get rid of the square brackets. And what you'll see is if I run the script again, it's gonna give us the exact same result, undefined, but let's change this back to a valid username like this, try it again, and we get the object right there without the brackets around it. So array find is going to do essentially a very similar thing to array filter. It's gonna check the items in the array, but as soon as it finds the first one that matches your condition here, it's gonna return it from 
the method and you're going to get it inside your constant or your variable on the left side there. Okay, and like us, uh, and uh, like we saw before, if you provide an invalid username or your condition returns false, you simply are just going to get undefined. Okay, so a much better way, or not much better, but it's definitely the most appropriate way to find a single object in your array. Now you've also got the find index method, which works in the exact same way, but this one gives you the index. I can say find index instead. Now, of course, we're gonna get zero here because decode is in the first position. I'll save this, run it again, and we get zero. If I make this gen.1, we're going to get, of course, index one, and there we go. And then you can, of course, use the find index method to then do things like maybe you wanna use array splice to delete it or replace it with something else or whatever it might be. You might come in, you might find that these two methods here, find and find index, are gonna come in handy. So that is all for this video. If this one helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.